Good day students, welcome to MathGodServe.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to calculate the percent relative and absolute change. Before we get started with the problem solving process, let's take a look at the formulas that we're going to be using. Okay? Alright, so the formulas are as follows. The first formula is the percent change formula. Okay? So the percent change can be determined by finding the difference between the final amount and the initial, dividing that result by the initial value, and multiplying your result by 100. You can think about the percent change as a ratio, a ratio of the change in two quantities divided by the original multiplied by 100. Formula number two is actually a piece of this percent change formula. That is the absolute change formula. The absolute change is simply the difference between the final and initial amount. So final minus initial. So if you extract the numerator component of this part of the percent change formula, you will end up with the absolute change formula. The third formula is the relative change formula. Well, this is nothing new. The relative change is the same thing as your percent change, okay? So if you know what your percent change is, you can easily uh, determine what your relative change is because they are one and the same. Alright, now let's take a look at uh, some examples. Question number one. The number of students um, that Miss Renee had this year is 44. Let's say she has 44 students this year compared to uh, 40 last year. Okay. So the question is what is the percent change in the number of students. Okay, and after computing that, you also have to find um, find the find the relative and absolute change. Okay? All right. Now let's um, start off by determining what the um, percent change is. The formula for percent change, let's write it down again just to refresh our memory. The formula for percent change is what? Percent change is the absolute change which is final amount or value minus the initial divide that by the initial amount and then multiply it by 100. Okay, so that's how you calculate the percent change. Now, in this problem, what's the final value? The final value is the current number of students that Mrs. Renee has. She currently has 44. Okay, well how many students did she have initially? How many did she have last year? Last year she had 40 students. Okay, so these are the two values we need to compute the percent change. So let's go ahead and do it. The percent change is final 44 minus initial 40 divided by the initial amount 40. If you, uh, oh snap, you need to multiply by uh, 100. All right, that's more like it. 44 minus 40 is 4. 4 over 40. 
times 100. Now 4 goes into itself, we can divide this top and bottom by 4, so divide by 4, divide by 4, that yields 1 over 10 times 100. Now how do you multiply fractions? You multiply across, right? Imagine as though there is a 1 underneath the 100. So when you multiply across, you have 100 over 10, which reduces to 10%. Now the sign of the percent change is very important also. Now if the sign of the percent change is positive, that indicates an increase. As you can see, the number of students that Ms. Rene had increased from last year to this year. If the percent change is negative, that indicates a decrease. Okay? Alright, so let's write down our first answer. The percent change is a 10% increase. Okay, we know it's an increase again because of the sign. Had it been this or negative, then we'll have a, a decrease. Okay, now what's the relative change? The relative change, as indicated earlier, is the difference between the percent and <clears throat> is a difference between actually the relative change is your is your percent change oh, it's the same thing okay so relative change and your percent change are exactly the same so your your relative change is going to be a 10% increase also all right the last um, answer is the absolute change your absolute change can be determined by finding the difference between your final and initial values. Okay, so it's final minus initial. Now, if you take a look at this problem, do you see what the absolute change value is without doing any work? You can clearly see that this piece right here, this numerator component of this fraction, is your absolute change because this 4 represents the difference between the final and the initial values okay if you can ID it or you uh, have it um, concealed in your work you can simply compute the difference between these two numbers to get your um, absolute change which is 44 minus 40 which is equal to 4 okay and since your absolute change is positive that means that she has four students more. Okay, if it were negative, that will indicate that she has four students less. Now let's take a look at another example. Question number two. It reads the price of the gold ETF. The price of the gold ETF. Um, known as GLD changed from $115 to $110 on the day um, Trump was elected in 2016 okay so question what is the percent relative and absolute change an absolute change in the price of GLD Okay. In the price of GLD. Okay. Um, let's start by taking a look at the uh, percent change. And do you recall what the formula for percent change is? 
Remember the percent change is the final minus initial, which is the same thing as the absolute change. The final minus the initial divided by the initial multiplied by 100. Okay? All right. Now, um, let's go ahead and write down what the values of this, uh, the components of this formula are. So, the final value here is the final price of gold, the GLD ETF after the election figures came out, and that was. Uh, $110. The initial price um, was $115 before the election. So let's go ahead and compute the percent change because this is all we need for our calculations. So percent change is the final 110 minus the initial 115 divided by the initial 115 multiplied by 100. 110 minus 115 is negative 5. You divide that by 115 and you multiply that by 100. Okay. Now, um, let's go ahead and use our calculators to compute what this product is. I will be using a TI-83 um, to carry out my calculations, okay? So we have parentheses negative 5 divided by 115 multiplied by 100. Uh, so we have negative 4.35 if we round it to two decimal places. So it's approximately negative 4.35% as your percent change. Okay, so let's go ahead and write out our answer. So the percent change is negative 4.35% or you can say it was a 4.35% decrease or there was a 4.35% decrease in the um, price of GLD on the day that Trump was elected. Now what's the relative change? Remember, the relative change is the same thing as what? Your percent change. It's just another terminology for the same uh, value. Okay, so the percent change and the um, relative change are the same. So percent change is going to be negative uh, 4.35% or a 4.35% decrease. Lastly, we need to find the absolute change. The absolute change, remember what it is, the absolute change is di simply the difference between the final and the initial values. We already know what it is if we look at the work that we did here. 110 minus 115 tells us what the absolute change is. So 110 minus 115 is equal to negative 5. So we have negative $5 or we can write it as a $5 increase, decrease. $5 decrease. So the price of GLD experienced or suffered a $5 decrease after the election figures came out. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of percentages, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback will be very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments about the contents of this presentation, just place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. We update videos to our YouTube page on a regular basis, so do subscribe to our channel so you can get updates to those um, video tutorials. More clips can be found on mathgutserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.